Hey guys, it's me. Oh, all right, it already started. Hi, it's me, Veg Head Vic. Obviously, not in my dorm anymore. <laughs> it seems like I am back from the dead. I feel kind of sucky that I haven't updated it my YouTube in a really long time. I haven't posted new videos. So I'm going to explain that briefly before I get into today's subject, which is five guys, burgers and fries. Okay. So, um, I haven't been able to post because I had exams and all this crazy stuff and then moving out of my dorm, came back home here and I've been working like nonstop. I like, I work in a flower shop, right? So it was Mother's Day week when I came home. So I had like 60 hours and stuff, but it's good. Working is a good thing. So now I finally have time to post a new video and I hope you like it. Um, I'm heading up to Ann Arbor this weekend to edit, so you won't see like my shaky webcam all summer long, but I really, really wanted to do a new post, so that's why I'm doing it right now. Um, secondly, I want to thank everybody who voted for me for Cutest Vegetarian Alive PETA 2's contest. Unfortunately, I wasn't chosen to be a finalist, but there are still lots of cute veg heads that you can still go and vote for, so I would encourage you to do that, and, uh... I'll get them next year. <laughs> um, and I was going to talk about something else, but I don't really remember what now. And it's weird that I can't edit this, that I'm just going to have to run in my mouth. Okay. Oh, it was really important too. I don't really remember. Okay, so it was why I haven't updated. Yeah, because I've been really busy and I came home from school. Oh, right. I don't have editing software. That's why I can't update it on my laptop. So that's why you get these webcams. But like I said, I'll be editing videos soon. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to talk in circles. Next... The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to talk to you guys about my recent experience when I went to go eat at Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Okay, my family here isn't, they're meat eaters, okay? So I'm a vegetarian and so we kind of had to learn how to accommodate this. Um, my dad and my brother really wanted to go eat at Five Guys Burgers and Fries and I had thought I had seen on their menu when I was like walking past in Ann Arbor that they have um, veggie burgers. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And, like whatever point of the story is I got there and they don't serve veggie burgers at a burger joint which just doesn't make sense to me so I decided to write them an email and I'm gonna read the email to you and that explains like the whole story whatever and I'm gonna post it on my blog so you can also read it and then I'm really hoping that you guys will email five guys yourself and tell them we want veggie burgers boga burgers in my tummy from your restaurant and I actually I'll post like a template on my blog too so you all you really have to do is like copy and paste it and send it to five guys so uh, did I just stop it oh okay <laughs> it's quick oh I shouldn't say that after all that stuff that's been going down but okay so here's um the thing I'm reading to you this is my email okay so I say Dear Five Guys, Five Guys Burgers and Fries was one of the restaurants I enjoyed the most before I became a vegetarian. After coming home from school, my dad and brother suggested we go out to eat at Five Guys. I thought I had seen on your menu that you serve veggie burgers, so I said okay. I even mentioned it to my coworker, whose daughter is also a vegetarian. She said, oh, that'll be fine. They have veggie burgers there. I was quite disappointed when I went to Five Guys and found out that you do not serve veggie burgers or Boca, Boca brand burgers, etc. When I asked the manager on duty if they could serve veggie or meatless burgers, he told me that all menu decisions, mm, some grammar errors, I've read this like 500 times, okay, anyway, he told me, okay, I'll just, okay. When, the, when I asked the manager on duty if they could serve veggie or meatless burgers, he told me that all menu decisions are made through corporate, which is why I'm contacting you. He also told me that people want us to serve a lot of other things, like milkshakes and stuff, but we just can't do it. I said, well, it's as simple as putting a, the box of patties in your freezer. To which the manager replied, we actually don't have a freezer. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are, Wendy's? Anyway, I understand that Five Guys wishes to keep its focus on burgers. I read the reason why you don't serve milkshakes on your website, and it makes sense. I agree, your menu should be appropriate to what you do best, but I wonder why you ignore accommodating a vegetarian diet. I'm not asking you to change your menu around. Just like you offer hot dogs, why not offer a veggie... Er, Sorry. Just like you offer hot dogs, why not offer a meatless patty? They're cooked on the grill, too. I know that you have the veggie sandwich and grilled cheese, but vegetarians like to eat. You try eating vegetables on bread or just cheese on bread for your dinner after a long day at work. It doesn't satisfy us, either. 
So my question for you is, why not add a meatless patty to your meal? Many restaurants targeting meat eaters include such items. For example, Buffalo Wild Wings, beat ups, will substitute Morningstar Farms brand black bean burgers in any dish containing their chicken, including wraps and salads. Red Robin will substitute a Boca burger on any of their burgers, and even smaller but still renowned eateries such as Quickie Burger in Ann Arbor, Michigan, featured on the Travel Channel, serve garden burgers. True story. It costs about a dollar per patty from the grocery store for a meatless burger or garden burger, and that's not even as cheap as buying in bulk. For an eatery that is so innovative, <laughs> and this is like the clutch too, where I really, uh, whatever, okay. For an eatery that is so innovative, awarded for its value and its flavor, I am surprised that you're not as accommodating as your competition. I appreciate that you add toppings for free and tell your customers where the potatoes to make your french fries came from on that day. I respect that, but now I ask you to take your thoughtfulness and attention to what your customers want a step further. Please do not send us to your competition because you can't keep up with their innovations. Your customers expect you to be on the forefront of value and service, we would expect you to accommodate all dietary needs. Like I said, even my coworker swore that you had served a meatless patty. The next day, when I said that you apparently never did, she said, well, they must have taken it off the menu. Your customers expect the best from your restaurant, even us vegetarians. So, I'm hoping that, like, that gets them, oh my god, this is almost seven minutes long. I'm sorry. I'm hoping that gets the message through that a burger place should include meatless patties. Um, and I'm sorry this is so long, it's a really long email, I guess. I mean, I could shorten it, but I want to get my point across, so yeah. Um, and like I said, I would really hope that you will email Five Guys Burgers and Fries yourself and tell them that you want a meatless patty. Tell them that they need to serve a Boca Burger or something like that because they need to accommodate us because we vegetarians are forced to be reckoned with, okay? So head over to my blog, vegheadvic.blogspot.com. Click on the link to email five guys, and if you would like to use my template, feel free. And let's see some change. Okay, thanks. Bye.